loaded Saturday nights. This is a special Saturday night because this will probably be the last time that I'm officially going to be doing Saturday nights themselves. So if you're watching this video on demand, I'll probably be moving it. I don't know what night. Uh, if a lot of people like it Saturdays, I will. Not sure I'm going to stay there though. Hey, if you're watching this video on demand, don't forget to check me out at twitter.com forward slash lore reloaded as well as uh, checking me out at facebook.com forward slash lore reloaded. Now, as you know, I like to say hi as people start to come in. I'm also going to check because I should be going live on Twitch as well. So I'm confirming that. Whoa. And apparently I did go live on Twitch. So everybody wins there. Uh, Teflon, you mean in like a moment talking about me saying that I'd be starting soon. What's going on, Teflon? What's going on, 14K Lam? Black Blake Stout in the house. Nexus. It is time to start a riot. I did not get my ship. I demanded from Trek Online, uh, Trek Online Games, the Twitter, that they give me that ship that didn't happen so um here we are no, i don't want to exit that i'm gonna log out of this character i'm gonna actually be starting and doing um one of the uh i'm gonna be doing the original series let me turn off that game real quick where do i do that there we go oh it's still there what there we go yeah, so I'll be starting and doing the um, the original series while we're getting this. Got Admiral Saval up in the Twitch. What's going on, Admiral Saval? Hope you're doing well today. Chase Paul, glad to see people up in here, up in the hizzy. Welcome to Aperture. Stay there. I'm in. I'm coming in with a Romulan character, no less. No, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be doing. You guys wanted me to do some of the new stuff, so I'm gonna or some of the different stuff, not new stuff. So I'm gonna be doing that. But you can come with a Romulan character in the other one. In fact, I demand that you do it. Let me know how the volume is, too, guys. Um, I see you're on TV again, Laura. Well, I'm glad to be on TV for you. I can do a little dance. At Lore Reloaded, if they made the show about the crew of an Oberth class, how many seasons do you think they could survive for? They'd never get past the pilot, good sir. All right, you guys are going to help me make this character. Let's see. 23th century human. So what are we going to do? Um, we're going to go female for sure. Because why not? Woman empowerment. All right. You guys help me vote. Admiral Saval is tired. Well, you gotta, you gotta buck up, Admiral Saval. All right. So, do we want a human, Tellarite? I'm sorry, Andorian, Tellarite, or Vulcan? Can't be a Tellarite, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know if I own the Constitution ship. I'll have to take a look. I don't, I don't think I do. But yeah, come on, guys. What are, you, what are you thinking here while we're getting this set up? Uh, Admiral Saval wants me to go Vulcan. You guys want me to go Vulcan? Two Vulcan, one Endorian. One human. Three Vulcan. Waiting for it. Waiting for it. All hell, Emperor Lore Reloaded. That's right. We're going to be breaking down what I think or hope happens in, uh, in tomorrow's episode. Hopefully it's not going to be... Um, schlock to say it nicely all right it looks like everybody's going vulcan let's look at the appearance of our vulcan let's see should i have her in dress uniform or the original what's the dress uniform look like no it doesn't even look like an original series dress uniform I don't know. there we go there should be more than male and female and Dorian. Suspension of disbelief broken. So tomorrow I'm hoping that they do a lot with um, uh, Georgiou. Uh, I really hope that she plays more than a part than just some kind of foil of uh, for Michael. I think you could add a lot to her than just doing that, honestly. And I think it's it's uh, it's too easy. It it is. I kind of hope that they. Uh, that we find out that Lorca was, in fact, uh, that this was, in fact, the uh, Mirror Universe Lorca. I think that'd be cool. Because uh, there's just a lot of evidence now. They probably won't do it because that would be too good of writing. But it'd be cool if we found out that he had always come from there. 
and that he was the good version of Lorca, that he came from the Mirror Universe, and he was the good version. How do we like that? That has a Romulan feel to it right there. Can I change her hair? I can. What are we going to do? Let's go red. Who doesn't Who doesn't like redheads? Nobody, that's who. Ooh, there we go. Because that's what a Vulcan would look like right there. Bam. There we go. All right. I am now also hosting on Perfect World. So Perfect World, what is going on, guys? Glad all of you guys can visit. All right. Now, we need a name for the captain. She needs to be bald. We need a name for the captain. What are we going to name our captain? Generally, Vulcan names start with like a T, or I believe they can also start with an S. Generally, it's like Tupal, Tuvok, Tuvix. Uh, well, not Tuvix. Tupal, Tupal, Serac, Saput. Saput it is. Her, her first name is Sawput. And the name of the ship will be Sawput Tapo. I like that. Tapow. And the name of the ship needs to be Survey Says. Come on, guys. You got to get going. There's people doing video on demand. They're expecting something just awesome. What does the ship name need to be? Help me out here. Help me come forward. The Sahat. USS Sahat. Love it. Engage. All right, here we go. Are you excited? I'm excited. Yeah, let's just play the tutorial. It's like I'm there. Yeah, I know how that works. Talk to Captain Garrett. What's up, Captain? Whoa! Just jumped over his head. Lieutenant, we've located. Whoa, 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 whoa! There we go. Lieutenant, we've located the wreckage of a crashed ship down there. <gasps> I need a to get to the ship to find out what's going on. Take a landing party down to the surface, assess the situation, and look for survivors. What's going on, Denorius? USS Bodie McBoatface. Oh man, Not I so wish fast. I'd done that. We can't use the transporters due to atmospheric interference. We'll need to take a shuttlecraft down. Use the sensors to locate a safe landing site. You can count on me, sir, Captain Isaac Garrett. I'm gonna do it. Where do I need to go? Where am I going? Why over here? I need to scan the surface. So why do I need this? Okay, so you have an engineering officer at the science console. Okay. Okay, so I scanned it, and then I need to come over. You just made me do... Look at his feet. His feet are in the ship. I don't think that's normal. Did you find a suitable landing area? Why, yes, sir. There's a good-sized clearing close to the crash site. Excellent. I've assigned Ensign Mears to your landing party. Kill him and take... <laughs> ...tourist to the floor. Insight will be quite valuable. Meet up with her and the others in the shuttle bay. Don't forget to grab a phaser in the armory on your way. From what I've read in Jim Kirk's report, Taurus 2 can get a little rough. Aye, sir, on my way. Man, I could do that. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry to have to do this, but you will die. Ah. Ah. Engage in combat with me! Ah. Ah. My fighting technique was ineffective. To the engineering deck. So let me ask you this. You ever wonder why all the females, like, on this ship are just, like, super hot? I mean, I, it could just be me, but it seems like the uh, Starfleet is pretty selective. Ensign Charcy, reporting for duty. The captain's asked me to make sure you get back in one piece, and I intend to do just that. Guess this captain loves his ship so much, he had himself attached to it. Ayo! Thanks, Tarsi. 
What do you know about Taurus 3? Taurus 2. Let's see. M class planet. Barely. The Taurians are big, primitive, and quick oh, to anger. anger. I keep my phaser handy if I were you. Speaking of which, if you want to follow me to the armory, we can make sure your phaser is properly calibrated. Um Sure. Um Aren't we in Starfleet? Aren't we supposed to be like peaceful and stuff and not go out of our way to like fight and kill and Again. Oh, there we go. I don't always get a phaser, but I stand on it when I do. No stripe. SF Debris did wonder if they had a no fat chick sign up on Starfleet. That's horrible. It, I mean, seriously, when you watch it, though, a progressive 70s show. How do I draw my weapon? Yeah. I'll be a jerk. You can't hit anything. Oh, I can't target his. I wanted to target his. Yeah. Good shooting, Lieutenant. That's darn right good shooting. In Star Trek, on Star Trek Online, there is only war. That is true. In Star Trek Online, Starfleet kills everything it sees. You can tell by the way I run that I'm a woman's person. No time to tell. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. If you need an Admiral level Sovereign to kick some A... When you stop messing around. I'm enjoying this. I'm having fun. I guess I do need to start talking to you guys about the Terran Empire, though, and how it's going to uh, be completely and utterly messed up. Let's talk to Ensign Mears first. Ensign Mears, reporting is ordered. I'm ready when you are. No. Yeah, I mean, do you guys have high hopes? I do honestly think that it's getting better. Um, I think that the um, episodes are getting... Uh, a lot better, and I, I, I would say I'm near excited when it comes to uh, when it comes to tomorrow's episode. I, I, I sincerely do. Oh, why is that? Ensign? I was one of the so-called Galileo Seven, a science team sent to study the Murasaki effect. Our shuttle crashed on Taurus Two. Not all of us made it back to the Enterprise alive. So you're willing to go back down? That's Thank I'm surprised Starfleet would send you back to where you watch some of your friends die. That doesn't seem the most effective way to help someone in the healing process. Uh, but as a character, I'm required to say I do, but you're the only one on board with local experience. Your insight will be invaluable. Yes, of course you're right, Lieutenant. I am a Starfleet officer, and I will perform my duties. You can count on me. Because screw PTSD. I never doubted it for a second. Let's do this. Da, 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 da. Wow, she just appeared randomly. An instant terror has appeared. What do I do? Oh, board shuttle craft. Congratulations, Lieutenant. <laughs> Star Trek Online, the game where the reason that you can have any ship from any time is because you're a time cop. I'd be amused if Star Trek Online, for one of the uniform service colors, used the uh, uh, motion picture ones. Will Riker can direct. Glad they got him. Yeah, Will Riker. You mean uh, Jonathan Frakes. Jonathan Frakes can definitely uh, direct. There are some things he's done that I am not a huge fan of. But when it comes to that, I think he did really well. Star Trek Discovery has gotten better if they confirm that the real Prime Universe is another reality in hypertime. I would completely accept Discovery Story as its own thing. I agree. I think that if they do that, they'll... Um, It'll make some people mad. The anti-tracker will not be a fan. But if they do do that, I think um, definitively they will uh, make it better for a lot of people. A lot of people will be okay with everything that's happened. It's just as grim as I remember it here. My skin is crawling. Now I feel like the creatures are out there, watching us, waiting to attack. Stay alert. Okay. It appears the ship crashed somewhere north of here. There are two paths from here that lead to the crash site, and there may be survivors in both. I recommend you take Alpha Team along the northwestern path, and I'll take Beta to the northeast. We'll rendezvous at the main crash site. 
Sounds good. See you there. This is a really bad idea. She should not be here. And didn't she just... This is a really bad idea. I don't ha I don't even have my um, weapon out. To sprint, tap the shift key. Is that a warp nacelle? Wow. Use the big pig to find anomalies. I don't know that I would call that big necessarily, but okay. Let's scan you. Discovery should be the universe where they in they never invented a light switch. Okay, I just scanned it, but it's her tricorder. Okay. No look. Oh! Yeah, I'm supposed to look up. That. That is not that big. That is freaking huge. Well played. Well played. Yo, Link the Informer! This game is Star Trek Online! Let's give him a hand. Did we just assume the gender? Let's give him a hand. Let's do it. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh. Uh, yeah. I think I have done every mission, war zones, and skimpy uniforms that offer the best protection. That's true. That's true. Is there any room in the squad? There is, but I have to get out of this. I mean, if you guys want to join, you're welcome to after I get out of this one. I wasn't even paying attention. How do I... Sh oh, I just walk up to it and shut it off. Because that's how plasma works, of course. You just walk up and you just you turn it off. Why didn't that work? Oh, shut off one of two. Where's the other one? Shut off plasma vents. That's just what I did on this one. Oh, do it. There's da -da -da. Where's the other plasma vent? I don't see it. Apparently, there's an ah. Here we go. People have gotten over a hundred thousand DPS with common mark. 10 gear. Hey, if you ever need a warbird to help you and the normal Star Trek, find me on Earth Space Dock. My gamer tag is I have one. I will definitively do that. We'll play sometime. Let me save this dude first, though. I don't always scam people, but when I do, the scanner's aimed at myself. We need to move. There's things. They're out there. At Lore Reloaded says, I'm sorry, Ronnie Jackson, 2018. I'm Lore Reloaded. Says, the Terran Empire is parallel to the Federation. Unlike the Federation, which they follow the Prime Directive and Temporal Prime Directive, the Terran Empire doesn't have both. <laughs> sure, I don't disagree with what you just said. I'm not sure how that ties into anything. Uh, I would say that if they had a Prime Directive, it um, it's vastly different. Oh, wow, a red shirt guy died. That just, that never happens. So he gets hit in the back, and you scan him to see if he's still alive. Because that's as you do. And the funny thing is, as soon as a fan translation of a version of the game where Shadow Mirror appears will be done, not sure if you will want to play it. Okay, so we shot at each other, and we both just walked away? Well done. Look at the way she's standing, too. She's like, oh. Whew. Speak to Survivor. I thought... Oh, well, maybe you shouldn't get distracted. I'm just saying. Me. We should get those supplies back to camp. 
Dr. Mueller's probably worried sick about it by now. Link the Informer says I should play it some more. I love my NX01 refit. Wanted to pop by before I have to run. Have a good cast. You have a good day too. He looks related to Scotty. Yeah, I could see that. Maybe Scotty's grandpa or something. Shadow Mirror being basically the mirror universe for the Super Robot War franchise. Oh, that's interesting. All right. I agreed. Lead the way. Ooh, what's this? Yay, I did it. Whoa. Whoa. You can tell by the way I walk that I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. Dootin, 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 dootin. Stand alive, stand alive. Dootin, dootin. Lore Reloaded has been infected with a neural parasite, I'm told. Oh, look at you. Look, look, look at you. Let's talk to Dr. Mueller. What's up, Dr. Mueller? Am I glad to see you? We thought we were stranded here with those, those monsters. Well, you were somewhat uh, just seeming casual with your hands behind your back, but okay. Those supplies you brought will come in handy while we wait. Just put them over there for now. You know, I think there's some old phaser rifles in there. Might come in handy against those creatures. Okay, so let me let me get this straight. I come to save you guys, and now I'm just carrying boxes around for you. I'm a lieutenant in Starfleet, and I'm a, I'm a glorified, uh, we should show the survivors. Also, and I'm, I'm just getting confused. Wait, you want me to shoot this? Well, sure, I mean, you know, I could save you, or I could teach you how to kill. I mean, you know, either or. Boom! You too can learn how to fight! Alright. So standing there and not shooting is the wrong thing to do. See, look at this. Look, we'll do it together. Ready? Shoot it! Hey! Can't even get his attention. Shh. Scientists in the 23rd century, am I right? Okay. Let's see. Josh Kong, but you can have the best tactics, but you know you can't beat it without level 60 weapons. Don't know what we're talking about. Exactly what do you think LTs and Starfleet does? Be happy you're not an ensign like Harry Kim. That's true. Crap. The targets are ready. Your weapon has an Whoa! Now they're going to shoot in front of me. Look at this. Now you try. What am I doing wrong? Uh, I don't know. Wow, great. That feels a lot better. Anything for you, buddy? How about you? Yeah, drop your shoulder. That's your problem. I get it. That gives me a lot more control. You didn't even fire it. Okay. Friendly fire, bro. Hey, Laura, do you know how can 400 plus crew fit into the USS Enterprise? This is not as not a big ship. It wasn't 400 crew in the uh, what Constitution? Spoiler: Harry Captain Harry Kim is a captain in STO, the USS Rhode Island. Well, now we know it's not true. Jay, we would never let Harry Kim do that. Where the hell am I going? Demonstrate alternate fire on debris. Oh, I guess we're still doing this. Uh, I did it. I did it. I'm awesome. How did she... How did she survive? She's in red. There's no way she should have survived. Physically impossible. Not on my watch, bucko! back okay I should be dead yep I should be dead multiple times over she should be dead 
Most all of us should be dead. This is the type of situation you could use my, uh, ma uh, blah, Makos for. Yes. I wish they had Makos. I'm surprised they didn't bring them back in Star Trek Online, if I'm being honest. Speak to Ensign Mears. Agreed. What are we going to do? All right. Well, you men go ahead and hide in the wreckage, and I'll take my less than 60% worth of clothing and go win this thing. They did bring back Makos? Yeah, I'm not sorry. I'm not surprised that they, they brought back Makos. What the hell am I doing? Okay, well, I guess I'm going to talk to... Did these people... These people just randomly appeared. Thanks for helping us out during the battle. I mean, that... That was well. Style over function when it comes to fighting. Style over function. That is true. Lieutenant, we've held them off so far because they're scared of our weapons. But I don't think that'll last much longer. We've got to fall back to the wreckage. I might have an idea. It is actually completely uh, true that if you have better looking clothing, that you'll win wars. Uh, so... Um, oh. Shut the doors, they're right behind us. Okay. I think someone has uh, fallen under the pressure. Cracked under the pressure. Tom Paris is apparently a captain, too. Maybe if there's enough charge in the batteries. What are we doing? Oh. Oh, all of a sudden they appear out of nowhere. Victory! What's going on, Simon Perry? Nexus, remind me, why did you not call for help? Yeah, why, why aren't we calling for, for help? I was thinking we can use our tricorders to track residual heat signatures left by the Torians. Like thermal breadcrumbs. By the way, I didn't mean to choose... What What did I choose? What class am I? Ah, I chose tactical. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Hi, Laura Reloaded. What is the mission objective you are doing? Right now, we need to track the Torian Raiders and scan for heat signatures. Because, uh, apparently, we do. We're also the underdressed crew, so... Oh, cool. Look, look at that. We can see where they're going. Apparently, they hopscotched. Resting, LOL, trying to level up a KDF tune from level 5 to 50 before Monday. You can do it, sir. You can do it. Why, what an ominous cave. Let's just walk right into that sucker. Let's just let's just walk right in. Let's just go. I'm sure nothing bad will happen here. Borg versus Daleks. Who wins? I'd say the Daleks win in that one. Some board guy, are you enjoying the game? I'm enjoying the game because I'm with you guys. That's how I enjoy the game. At Lore Reloaded, surprise that Discovery lacks the use of the giant laser cannons. They can beam down and fire, given Lorca seems to be the type to be hee hee hee, eat lasers to things. Yeah, I, um... There are a couple of things they do leave out. Apparently we're about to ta attack the Torrent Chief for, I'm guessing, no reason. Ow! I'd be dead right now. 
You know, just saying, the mere uniforms, uniforms for Discovery was not so underdressed for once, just an observation. I agree, I, um, they're completely different. Uh, and that made a lot of people mad, and I can kind of see why. Um, and there is a logic to the uniforms being more than just, oh, look, males like it and males dominate this, um, males dominate watching Trek. Uh, using your body as a form of keeping somebody off base, as a form of seduction, as a form of power. Uh, hold on, I'm talking to my audience. Uh, so them wearing less clothing, I think, could make sense if you're trying to get a one-up on somebody. I mean, sex sells, right? So I wasn't necessarily as negative about it. Let's first go. So, I mean, was this like an all-female crew, or... Because it doesn't seem like there's... The, the only male I've seen so far is the captain and the dude that got killed. If that isn't saying something. Managed to get my KDF to level 32 today. Congrats, Rock it Out, Simon. Toss means the original series. It does. Who the hell is that dude? Oh, you're actually a guy. All right, let's go to the shipwreck. Come on. Do, 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 do. I guess you could do three jumps with a black alert and hitting the console. Uh, maybe. The USS Bunny. In Star Trek, you're either a named character or a f female. Y'all are horrible. Y'all are gonna, y'all are gonna get me banned. I can already see this. I can already see it. Am I seeing things? Because those guys picking through the wreckage sure look like Klingons. Just what are Klingons doing on Taurus too? I'm not sure, but let's kill them. That's the Starfleet way. Don't you know, we're in the Discovery timeline. We kill anything we see. We don't talk to it. Bring it to me. I have some experience decrypting Klingon data. So, um... Am I just like your courier? Because I, I don't think I signed on for this when we started this. Huh. Go get your own damn pad. Uh, Admiral Saval asks me to make him a moderator. I don't know how to do that on... If you tell me how to do it, I'll do it on Twitch. Captain Kaw! Starfleet! I like that. I like that Nexus. Starfleet is just a militarized U USPS. Not only is it a militarized USPS, but it is a highly sexualized USPS as well. Looks like the Klingons are using both guile and brute force here, Lieutenant. A pretty potent combination. The captain's definitely going to want to hear about this. Agreed. Oh, by the way, thank you for just standing back there and letting us kill those Klingons. It would have really sucked if we had had help, so I appreciate that. Oh, look, more. Hey, don't move, guys. We got this. Don't worry. Yeah, you guys hide behind a rock. You're only Starfleet officers, and, you know. Ow. So who's Fe FedEx, then? The Klingons or the Romulans? The Vulcans, indeed. FedEx, Vulcans are basically the FedEx of uh, the uh, Alpha Quadrant and Beta Quadrant. I mean, that's just fact. That's just fact right there. A lot of people are happy with their packages in the future. Ow! ow. Stop shooting me! Where'd my... Where'd the other chick go that was helping me out? 
Oh, that's not even fair. Yeah, I'd hate to have to do all the work here. Ow! Here, let's see if you like it. Oh, they have personal shields. We don't. Personal shields. Something you always saw in the original series and well known in the 23rd century. Too bad Starfleet is getting their butts kicked by Planet Express. <laughs> Klingons are the Planet Express. That's what this entire war about. It's the subtext. See, you guys aren't listening to the subtext. Obviously, Starfleet is FedEx. And it's talking about the corporate wars between FedEx and Planet Express. And really, it's a love story when you think about it. I mean, you just got to be honest with yourself. By the way, where is Captain, what is it, Ensign Tarsi? By the way, she's an ensign and she's telling me what to do. I just realized that. <coughs> and my phasers are apparently set to kill, so that's, that's good. Too bad Starfleet is getting their butts. Deep Space Nine did mention personal shields and photon degree. In the 23rd century? I don't believe they had it. Oh, they're on our side. It's getting ready to try to kill them. All right, guys, we need to run. The Copernicus. Ready to go when you are. Hope this thing's got enough fuel to get us back to the ship. Uh, why would we bring down a shuttle that wouldn't have enough to get us back? Are you ready to board the shuttle, Lieutenant. Not yet. Cause I'm. What the hell are these things? Oh, what is that? I don't know. Screw it. Let's do it. We'll do it live. Blake has to head out. See you tomorrow, Blake, for sure. I will be doing the post show tomorrow, so definitely show up. Yep, let's return to ship. You're a lieutenant junior grade in Star Trek Online. When you start a character, toss Starfleet and normal Starfleet tune. And in the actual, in the real Navy, I believe a lieutenant JG is lower in Bay grade in the United States Navy. I may be wrong on that, says Admiral Saval. I don't know. We made it. Never thought I'd be so happy to see a shuttle bay. I admit I had my doubts in the beginning. Didn't think I'd hold it together down there. By the time I heard those things roar. But here I am. Thanks for believing in me. Anytime, Mears. Anytime. I believe in you. So we just landed and all of a sudden... Okay. Maxine, I don't believe you. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Let me pause this for a second. Maxine's messing with me. That's not very nice, Maxine. She... You run in the whole tutorial? Yeah, Josh Kong, I am, unless you think that I shouldn't. I don't know what I'm doing. Where the hell do I need to go? Oh, I guess I need to hit this button right here. Access the comm. Oh, we'll, we'll handle it, sir. Klingons. Why does it have to be Klingons? Stay here with Tarsi to help the squad. Oh, apparently I can't go that way. Good luck, guys. God be with you. What level is the character you're playing? Level one, Ross Tudden. Die, Klingon Phil. Oh, hold on. Sorry, guys. Gotta let you get ready. All right, are we ready? Let's go. Die, Klingon filth. Dun to dun to dun to dun to dun. Tell by the way I walk that I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. Uh 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 uh. Stand lie. Can't stop these moves, guys. Can't stop these moves. 
Maybe you can. I'll be right back. Get out of the way! Run away! Alright, and I'm back. Oh, no you didn't! Can't stop these moves. You ain't gonna follow me. Come here, Klingon filth. That's right. Dang right I'll get them running. Like, fast. Here we go. Reinitiate plasma conduits. Your character has a name, therefore you must do everything. That's true. My character does have a name. What level is the character you're playing? Because it's ally, lords and lieutenant. Whoa! Can we talk about this? I need to stop reading. Yeah. We'll run. I'm hit him. Excuse me, sir. You cannot. You cannot steal our weapons. That would be a bad thing. Auntie Maxine has the toss constitution class. I think I have the constitution class too. I'll have to take a look. Pretty sure I do. Oh! Ah! Run away! Run away! Save me! Save me! Phew. I'm safe. Alright. Oh, don't help me out there, red shirt. Whatever you do, I'm fine. I'm only sitting here firing and, you know, saving your lives. Don't, don't do anything. Don't... Don't you move. I got this. When you're out on looking the cold... Feeling lonely and so cold. Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I got nothing better to do, right? Any ship is better than the broken Walmart shopping cart. That is the first ship they give you. <laughs> it's true. It's a pretty bad ship. Let's do it. Is there only one server left? I don't know. Alright guys, I want to vote. Which is the best series? The original series? Voyager. Ah, leave me alone. Stop, stop. Bad commander. The original series, The Next Generation, or Enterprise. Yeah, I didn't mean to do tactical. That sucks that I did tactical. Well, I am mad enough to say that I am wrong on the O1 is an Ensign and O2 is a Lieutenant GJ, so Star Trek Online, that kind of screwed the Starfleet ranks. Should equal mar modern United States, United States Navy ranks, says Admiral Saval on Twitch, and he is right. Okay, so DS9 is most people's favorite. I'm not surprised by that. Why? What about DS9 makes it better? Okay, so you're going to... Not only did I fix it, but now I have to go on the bridge to fire it. Because that makes sense. Oh, someone brought up the Defiant. Really fun thing. Just to let you guys know. He looks familiar. Uh, just... Um, Monday, I'll be doing a Starship lore on the Defiant, which is really fun. Though, I was very surprised to find out... Uh, that there are as many errors with the Defiant and as many things that don't make sense in continuity with the Defiant as there is with the Intrepid. They did a horrible job about staying consistent on that, too. Federation Starship, this is Captain Kor. This is Captain Kor. But I'd rather you fight with honor. Sir, let's surrender. Surrender, sir. It's the only way. Basically, the war and how it was one huge story in the last few years, said Matsloff. I expected that, but let me ask you this. There's one huge war in Discovery, too. So what's the difference? Good work, Lieutenant. The Klingons will think twice before they try to board this ship again. Not 
Take the helm. We need to get to a friendly sector. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! No stripe says it's the right. Are picking up Klingon power signatures in two nearby satellites. I'm thinking they're broadcasting the distress signal that lured in our ships. Bring us in close so we can scan them and find out. Increase your speed using E. Decrease your ship speed. Apparently there's no surrendering or the Romulan warbird will be brought. Got to scan the beacon. Dukat was one of the best rounded villains of nearly anyone for 40 years. You know, if you guys haven't seen it, uh, I think it's by Trexpertise. I could be wrong on that, but there is a breakdown of Dukat that is just excellent. Uh, it's like the man of Dukat or who is Dukat. Uh, I also think Certifiably in Game does it as well, uh, but I, I want to say it's Trexpertise that just epically breaks it down. Did you notice First Officer called the Defiant the Defiance in the last week's episode of Star Trek Discovery? No, I didn't notice, but I'm not surprised if they did that. Dukat is a good villain. Dukat was a Russian agent. Wow, you got me. You rock, Maxine. You got me to write. You got me to read that. Right, I'm off to sleep. Got another 20 levels to get through. Feel free to add me at Spoon 2006 on PC platform. I'll try to do that, Simon. Second time, sorry. Well, I mean, you can repeat it. If I don't hear, if I don't see it, then obviously, uh, I haven't seen the expanse. Uh, a lot of people have suggested it, though. Garrick was amazing. Head back to Earth, says Som. I gotta answer a hail. We're under attack by Klingon raiders. Our shields are buckling. Won't last long. We're on our way. It also made characters look at they do their beliefs. Yeah, it did. It made them look at their beliefs, what they believed, everything. Oh hell no, not my not where I live. No, my house. You don't attack people on my house. That's right. Die, cowards. Oh full power shields. Full power shields. Yeah. My house. Attacking people in my house. See how you are. Our engines are offline. Could you transfer some energy and get them started? Can do. Transfer the energy. Help them out. Thanks for everything. Ow, that hurt. I'm a pansy. Are you liking the Mirror Universe Discovery episodes? I am liking them a lot more, infinitely more than anything Discovery has seen to date. Yes. Infinitely more. I think you'll like the results. What's going on, Pete? Admiral Saval says there was a 22nd century Intrepid class Warp 4 ship, according to Memory Alpha. I saw that too. Memory Alpha says that there is a 22nd century Intrepid class ship. I have not been able to confirm that through any canon, though. So I don't know how uh, accurate that is. Don't get me wrong. I love Memory Alpha. I use them as a source. Um, and they're awesome. Sometimes they get it wrong. So, sometimes I get it wrong. It's not, you know, it's just it's to be human. What am I doing? Up. Let's approach these Klingons. Dun, 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 so I lied, I cheated, but you know what? I can live with it. Yeah, I really... Deep Space Nine... Let me say this. Deep Space Nine... Before I get into a thing. Deep Space Nine really does, uh bring up a lot of great questions it uh it puts the characters in positions and makes them face their consequences voyager did that a little bit too and the next generation was really good with it uh, i don't feel like um 
Enterprise did it all that well. But yeah, I, I like how they built out the characters and how they questioned what an evolved human is or how an evolved human worked. Do you friend me on PC platform? My thing is Enterprise, and I forgot the last number. My gamer tag is high one. Unless you have your last number, I can't friend you. Um, you're welcome to friend me. You know, it's funny that you say that, and yet you're literally doing no damage to me. Like, not any damage at all. Like, my shields are barely inconvenienced. Because you want to know why? You're in my house! Kapla on this, sucker! <laughs> I can't be good. You know, he seems familiar. That, uh, that one ends in there. Seems a little familiar. No, no. Don't know where I'd place him. Lore Reloaded. One of my favorite scenes in the Enterprise was a scene where Archer tortured that pilot and the reactions of his crew to that action. Okay, let me say this. Yes. Enterprise had some good ones where they made some good... Where they made questionable decisions that weighed on them. I also think Enterprise did an absolutely great um, job with the Zindi arc. What what they did with the Zindi arc, where you slowly saw the ship continually get destroyed and and them not able to repair it and having to make more and more sacrifices and the ships just beat to hell at the very end. That's the way Voyager should have been. So I stand corrected on that to a degree. I think that Enterprise did some good stuff. I'll say that. Not to kill me, sucker. I like DS9 because I like the way Dukat was played. I liked Dukat until the very end when they made him insane and this basically Satan cultish guy. They didn't like the fact that people were respecting Dukat, that people empathized with Dukat. So they went out of their way to make him kind of insane at the end. I don't like that. I think up until that point, Dukat was excellently done. Um, I think it was a little bit out of character for what they did to him, I'll be honest. Uh, and But the thing I liked about Dukat, what I really did enjoy about Dukat, is Dukat was, for all intents and purposes, Dukat was, um, if you were to put it in D&D &D or Pathfinder terms, he was chaotic neutral. He really only, he reflected who he was with towards his goals. Sometimes he was a part of the good guys, and sometimes uh, his actions were good or considered noble. Uh, especially when he got the Klingon bird of uh, prey and started defending his people. Um, and sometimes he was absolutely horrific. I, I, th I do think, until the end, when he became obviously evil, that he was more chaotic neutral. I, I do. And I know people can disagree with that, but I, I do I do think <laughs> Dukat did nothing wrong. Dukat did nothing wrong. You know, one of the interesting things about this, I, I have rarely played this. I played it like once before. Um, sometimes it's obvious when they're using uh, clips from the show versus somebody who's actually doing the voice acting. That's one of the things I don't like about the original series, uh, the 23rd Century and, and Star Trek Online. Apparently I gotta go help the Enterprise. Because you know the Enterprise has to be saved by me. The cub comes to fight beside the wolf. Who's the cub and who's the wolf? No, he ain't talking about me. Oh, that's a D9. That's even that's even worse than a D7. That's two numbers worse. So is Lorca the human Dukat? No. Uh, I don't think so. I think he's he would be a mixture between Garrick and Dukat if I had to put Lorca somewhere. To be fair, DS9 and Voyager first two seasons sucked. They did. Uh, people forget that even in, during the Dominion War, ratings on Deep Space Nine sucked. Nobody liked Deep Space Nine while it was on on television at all. It only it only went it only became so popular in syndication. 
And I think that's a fair thing to say to people who don't like Discovery. Now that doesn't invalidate what people say about Discovery, but nostalgia or time has a way of making things better or worse, in my opinion. And the show can get better. Uh, the Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, Enterprise, all of these shows had just horrific first seasons and yet got better over time. Uh, especially in later seasons. And the exact same thing can happen to uh, Discovery. Why is he focused on me if I'm the cub? I don't... That doesn't make any sense. This cub's about to bite. Oh! I think the guy is Daniels from Enterprise. I don't know who you're talking about. I just know he looks familiar. Wow, he sounds kind of whiny. Did it over, Kirk. I'll come back and I'll get you. And your little cat, too. Congratulations. We're done, Kirk. Starfleet Command wants us and Enterprise back for a debriefing. To Space Dock we go. Someone wanted me to go to Space Dock. I'm on my way. Tell everybody I'm on my way. Sam's going to be there before. Why do we hate Seth now? We hate Seth? Who's Seth? I never seen Star Trek Discovery, but I saw the YouTube videos of the Discovery lockboxes coming on. Star Trek Online. Yeah, I saw that too. I demanded they give me one. It's funny how sometimes your lips move and sometimes they don't, and I'm wondering if maybe you're telepathic. The Orville, it's horrible. Ah, you don't know what you're talking about. The Orville is excellent. The Orville is really well done. I love the Orville. You're crazy if you think they're not good. I think they might have paid Michelle Nichols for her voice acting. Maybe she did. Maybe she did voice act, but I could have swore it doesn't seem like it. Do you have any of the Toss ships from the Zen store? I think I do. No, the Orville rocks. It's derivative of the other Trek, but it's great. It is. She uses her antenna to talk. She does. I really don't have any interest in talking to the crew of the Enterprise. I'll be honest. I, I don't. Also, I, I love... I don't, I don't always walk to places or run to places, but when I do, I freaking flip over everything. I jump over stuff like I'm a buffoon. Oh, do I have to talk to him? Okay, I guess I have to talk to him. Let's do it. All right. What you got for me, Uhura? Uhura. Leave it to the Klingons to set a trap inside the effect. I don't think they'll try anything like that again soon. Here's a question for you. We shouldn't be fighting due to the Organians. Remember the Organians made it so that neither Starfleet or the Klingon Empire should be fighting. That we have to find ways to do stuff without going to war. Yeah, here we are. Do you like the new look of the Tellerites? There's not a diff... The new look of the tell. Are you talking about since Enterprise, James T. Kirk? Um, yes, I think they look a lot more realistic. Uh, from the original series to Enterprise, uh, I don't... I didn't see a massive difference from Enterprise to Discovery. Which is funny. The Klingons are absolutely different. This that is obvious that these are different Klingons. Yet Andorians, Tellarites, humans, all of them look the same. We were in Starfleet Academy together. Always nice to see someone from the Academy days, class of 2268. Yes, I seem to recall an incident invo involving you. A Regellian flame rose and the unfortunate activation of fire suppression systems? Uh, it made pretty positive impression on the cadet Winstead, however. Okay. What's up, McCoy? You're, going into the lion's den, you need a medical officer. You're telling me all of these... Well, first off, it can't be uh, him, because he wasn't alive when this came out. That has to be from the show. It also doesn't make a lot of sense, uh, him saying it to me. He just walks up, and he's like, If you're going into the, into the lion's den, you're going to need a doctor. It's like, uh... I just came for a drink, brother. 
What, what are you doing? I don't believe Tellarites had tusks in Enterprise. I don't remember. The new new Tellarites have tusks. I'll have to take a look. I don't remember that. You know, it feels like this isn't the first time I've given you some advice. Know anything about that? Can't say that I do. <gasps> Timey wimey. Doctor Squatty. You know, it, it's really interesting that all of them somehow remember me, uh, yet I don't remember them. I'm sure that's not going to come back. Let me stand on this desk since I don't know how to walk and talk to Sulu. <laughs> There's no way that was voice acted. No way. Ah, oh, man. Uh, Discovery is not going to last much longer. It's losing money. See, I thought that too, Maxine. Uh, but they're, they've been approved for a second season. Laura, have you played every mission in Star Trek Online? No, I haven't even played near every mission. Yet I've owned it since it came out. How horrible is that? Same to you, Ensign. What'd they do to the Andorians? Man, they must have made changes that I didn't even notice. Because I, 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 I didn't notice any real changes, to be honest. Um, who am I supposed to talk to? This door keeps opening, so maybe... Hey, am I supposed to talk to one of you guys? No? Okay. Nope, that's fine. Just means when you go get to the point where the Federation does go full military, blowing everything up makes sense. Ah. Wow. What's up, Garrett, old buddy, old pal, old friend? Thanks for coming. I have some good news to share. First off, Fleet promoted me to Admiral. I'll be working with Deep Space Command on several exploration initiatives. Fantastic. Our ship's going to need a new captain. Talked it over with Command, and they agree with my recommendation. You. Congratulations, Commander. I know the ship will be in good hands once I'm away. I don't think you've gotten rid of me, though. I plan on keeping you plenty busy out there. Okay. Congratulations, Lieutenant. I never got to me meet Every Leonard anymore. I wish I had. Officers hear the call of duty. I regret that. Hidden dangers lurk in space, and the threat of Klingon attack has made even the most stout-hearted reconsider their choice to travel throughout the stars. A last <laughs> to find a common ground could end this conflict. Okay, this is weird. But there are many who oppose peace. If the Federation is to be saved from chaos. New officers will need to take up the task of restoring peace. Okay, who walks in and talks like that? Live long and prosper, Lieutenant. That's weird. So he just walks in, he gives this huge speech and walks out. I've outlined the graduation Speak with the tailor to customize your appearance. After that. When did uh when did Captain Kirk become Spock? Your mini map shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the mini map if you are far away from your objective. What is the movie called? They can't use Captain Marvel as a title. Marvel owns that character. I don't know. I need to change my tailor first. Let well first off, let me see. Ship selector. 
Well, that's just pleasant. Ship vendor. Yeah, I can get the Constitution. I wonder if I can do Constitution Beta. No, screw that. Constitution. Buy a ship. Alright, what do you guys want to name it? Help me name this ship. What are we going to name the new Constitution? Newest ship in the fleet. This ship is going to save just thousands, hundreds of thousands of people. Where are we naming it? Come on, people. Give me some names. We're naming it the Maxine, the USS Maxine. Bodie McBoatface. USS Bodie McBoatface. I like it. One, if you like Bodie McBoatface. Two, if you like the Trump. Three, for the Ducat. So what was it? One for Bodie McBoden face, two for the Trump, three for Ducat. So one, two, three, four, three, five threes, one, two, three, four ones, two twos. All right, a couple more seconds, but it looks like it's going to be Ducat, the USS Ducat. And what should the NCC be? First four digit number to pop up is the one I'm gonna use. Five digit, first five digit number. Execute order 66. One, two, three, five, seven, nine, done. B. Boom! The USS Ducat, babies! Done. Ship selector. Put us on the Ducat, sir. Ready starship. Alright. Now I need to go get my clothes changed. How do oh here you go. Taylor! Thank you. Show me what's available. Taylor. What did I modify? Oh, well, this is crap. I can have you look scantily clad, or I can make you look like a nun. And that's it. Feminine. Cute. I want to look cute. Purchase. I always enjoy looking cute. Nope, that's it. USS, you're at here. Click around. Click around. There is a different menu on the Taylor. Taylor. Create. Yeah, it doesn't. It says click around, but I don't. Where else can I go? There's nothing I can do. Nope. You know, I don't hate the toss. Uh, and it's funny because you see guys wearing. Uh, you wearing them in the next generation. But, um. Let me say this. Uh, I think it's just. Uh. A review of its time uh, even though it's progressive I mean progressive is relative so I don't judge them as quick as harshly as other people do get a new starship browse selection shuttle class my ship nice talk to Admiral Garrett couldn't instead of me going and buying a ship couldn't he have just said, hey, you know, you got this? Weird. What's up, Arcaris? 
How you doing? Hey, do we look like sisters? Hold on, Akara. Stay right there. Don't move. Don't move. Ah! Don't move. Oh my god. Alright. Wow. I look much more trashy than she does. Alright. I know that being a starship captain is a big responsibility. I believe you're up to the task. Fun fact, there's... There's an original series episode that talks about how women aren't captains and can't be. Stay safe. You have just earned your first skill point. Ever hear of Edron Four? Have not. Kirk got into a tussle with a Gorn there and barely lived to tell the tale. Both the Gorn and the Federation have teams now. I'd like you to back our people up in case the Gorn decide to engage in a little cowboy diplomacy. Stay safe. Click I don't want to beam up to the system map. Alright, so let's do this. What do I need? Space. Okay. Choose it. And choose that one. Ground. Cool. There we go. Got it. Yay! Whoever enforces those skirts is probably why... <laughs> That's horrible, Von Miller. I'm not going to finish that. Click on this button to warp out to sector space. Oh, I'll click on that button to warp out to sector space. Well, it's funny how few ships there are. If you go to the other one, it's like nothing but... Wow, he looks so familiar. You'll be working with me in security, so if you need anything, just ask. Thanks, Chief. I appreciate it. Hey, don't mention it. Us red shirts stick together, right? Right. You can count on me, Chief. Huh. It's weird that they would just go out of their way to kind of have that there. Whoever, inf uh, yes, read the Constitution. The office of the president is referred to as a he, him, or his. Women can't be president. You're right, Maxine. What the hell? Why do you guys talk about the weirdest stuff? Q versus time baby. Who wins? Time baby, obviously. But there are women captains in the United States Navy. Even in today in the United States Navy, it's extremely rare for women captains, says Admiral Saval on Twitch. Guys, they're talking about weird stuff. 1960s logic is the same logic of today. You people just have not matured mentally yet. Too easily offended, said Terry Davis. Man, I'm glad we're talking about Star Trek. Some people think that no female captain rule was a compromise the humans made to work with other sexist races initially in the United Federation of Planets. That would be interesting to... to um, to do. I might do a lore on that. I've never heard that theory. I just always thought that was um, kind of a jab at the U.S. military. But uh, that, that would be an interesting uh, thing. Did, did they do it because of sexist other sexist species? That'd be interesting. 64, 640 by 480 is God's resolution. It is, in fact, God's resolution. That set... The sad, the sad thing is, is that the end of the original series with no female captain episode. They should have had a female. Um, you know, now that you think about it, I never, they didn't have one, did they? Huh. All right, I'm gonna finish this mission. Then, then uh, I think we're gonna end it there, my friends. Warp back to Earth, says Psalm. Why am I warping back to Earth? Psalm, give me a good reason to warp back to Earth, and I'll do it.
Don't forget to check on the C store on the promotion tab. I'll have to take a look at that. You know, I thought your game was frozen because I could not see your ship moving. That's how slow your ship is. Yeah, it's going pretty shit. It's going pretty slow. <clears throat> oh, we can see if we're on the same server by just looking at the top right. What's up, Captain Jesse? Welcome to Edrin 4. I'm Bridget McKinnon, CEO of USS Zhangha. Zhangha. My science teams are on site and conducting initial surveys. Apparently, this place is quite the geological marvel. We're not the only ones present, though. Our friends from the Gorn hegemony aren't terribly chatty, but so far they're keeping the peace. Well, I'm sure my people wouldn't mind an extra hand down there on the geological marvel. Feel free to join the party. To cut out. Maybe for regal... God, the Toss female suits were rather sexist. <laughs> By our standards, yeah. I, you know, it goes back to the thing that says it's, it can still be considered sexist. It can't be a sexist thing, but you also got to consider the time. Oh, wow, I'm beaming down someone that's not me? weird oh that's cool Admiral Saval from Twitch my mother's mom mother served in the waves during World War one Jake there was a few episodes of the original series where some women wore pants okay They did actually have um, mini skirt wearing uh, men in the next generation. It's nothing, Captain. Thought I was picking up an impulse drive. False alarm. I'll recalibrate the sensors. Okay. During missions, ha! So I am going down. Your away team from the away team selection screen. That makes sense since I am both a science officer and not the captain. All right, let's do this. The USS Defiant beat the USS Defiant. I really never saw the old series. The old series. That's what I used to call it. It's the original series. Oh, look at Ensign Hunter right there. Man, you look familiar. Oh, well. Nice to see a report that Laura Reloaded, they are giving away the T5 Defiant Burrell and Daylon in the C-Store for this weekend only. You need to be level 50 to claim them. Cool. I'll have to go take a look. I think I already have the Defiant. Oh, that's why people are trying to level up. That makes sense. Okay. Can anyone explain why all the Starfleet ships seem to outsize all Starfleet ships from the original series, the motion picture? So here's an interesting thing. Uh, the Constitution class, the Enterprise, was supposed to be one of the biggest ships that existed, uh, at least in Starfleet and the Federation, if not in the galaxy. And uh, that was a big deal, that, it, that the Constitution was just massive. And now they're trying and now they're trying to outdo that now they're trying to you have a galaxy class you have uh, a Prometheus class whoever gets the mineral rights to this planet will be pleased very pleased indeed 
Well, we'll probably go to war for that then. The variety of minerals in the topsoil alone is astounding. Man. You guys were complaining that Star Trek Online was too, you know, militarized, too much fighting. They took care of it for you. Ugh, my nose told me that long before your tricorder tri incident for you. So you beam down to California, yeah. Wow. That's, uh, special. I don't always fire, but when I do, it's set to kill. The Sinju is a post the next generation ship in pre the original series. Okay. Actually, ship size is relative. I mean, Constitution ships in the Kelvin timeline are apparently larger than the Prime Universe. Over there, there might be a way out of this infernal canyon further down the valley. Let's do it. Even though we have enemies, like right next to us, but okay, whatever. Heavy Ranger. Oh hell no! You in my house. I wish the Star Trek Discovery would have been a totally Star Trek series set in a mirror universe. Yeah, I do too. I wish they had been honest about it. It's obviously reimagined. I mean, they just made themselves out to be liars. They, they should have been honest about it. Hey dude, usually miss your streams. This is Star Trek Online? This is Star Trek Online. I am in fact playing the original series. Come up with a plan. Where will we find this bomb, Ensign? <laughs> We're making the what is it? The diamond? The diamond bomb that he used? Is that what we're doing? Really? Seriously? Ow! Who did that? Protect me! Can't believe we're doing this. this is silly. They're they're doing this off the original episode where he put together this like bomb or whatever it is, and he uses like diamond, and um, he uses diamond and coal and something else. Captain Kirk does, and it's okay. I mean, I get it. It's fan service. I get it. The diamond gun bomb. Yeah. Lucy in the sky with diamond. What's going on, the right gamers? It will be funny for Discovery to get the Defiant and find out it isn't the Defiant from their universe. That would be interesting. You know, we have phasers. Couldn't we just use phasers? I got all the bombs. What do I need to do now? Bamboo. I gotta go get bamboo. I gotta get not just any bamboo. Three bamboo. He used bamboo to kill the Gorn too. Kirk loves his good Vulcan his good Vulcan green. What ah whoa! I need to stop stop talking to you people. 
Die! Yo, yes. You don't want none. You don't want none. Space bamboo. It is, it is indeed space bamboo. You know, honestly, you play, you play this game for the nostalgia and to, to be a part of the Star Trek universe. It doesn't add anything else than that. There's nothing more innovative. There's nothing innovative about it. Um, where the hell is the bamboo? Oh, there it is. Um, but it's fun because you can be in the Star Trek universe. That's one of the things I do really enjoy about it. Bamboo didn't do, didn't do nothing. Bamboo didn't do nothing. Hashtag didn't do nothing. Is online the canon universe's future? It depends on who you talk to. It's considered quote unquote soft canon, which means it's canon until it's not, until a new TV show comes out. For me, that doesn't necessarily pass muster. Where the hell am I supposed to go now? Speak with. I'm supposed to go down there? Oh, I was probably supposed to work my way down. Can I jump down? No, I can't, because if you could jump your way down, that would make this a lot more easier, and you w you couldn't go through, you wouldn't have to go through all the Gorn. Oberth with the mighty bamboo cannon. Yep, that's probably what they gave Oberths. They don't have phasers; they just have bamboo cannons. One bamboo cannon. Ships like the Constitution class is considered heavy cruisers. They are. The right gamers. All I know is Star Trek Online is where I assimilated by the Borg and promptly massacred my team. You and me both. That's kind of the point, is it not? Heavy Ranger! Now mix it with the cold. Carefully. I'd rather not get blown to pieces today if you don't mind. We're just about done. Fantastic. Take your time. Not like we're killing people left and right. Because honestly, the travel serves no useful purpose other than to drive the plot. The what? The travel serves? All right, let's do it. Give them to me. Because I'm assuming that I'll have to do it. Place the charges. Yeah, so do I not have to pick them up, I guess? Okay. Well, I guess I didn't have to pick them up. I guess they just randomly appear. If you could not jump in my way and push me over, that'd be, that'd be just super... How would you fix the Oberth? I would, uh... I'd make it more similar to Voyager. I mean, it doesn't... So... Let me get through this, and then let's have that conversation. Where am I supposed to go? Over here? Hide in the bamboo! It'll protect us! Oh, so we can use that to climb. So here's where this whole Oberth thing started. Uh, while doing research into Wolf 359 and then the Battle of Sector 001, Wolf 359 had one Oberth. Sector 001, or First Contact, had three. That's ridiculous. There's no reason those ships should be there. Uh, the way I would fix it is make it similar. 
to Voyager, which is to have it be a uh, basically science lab with nacelles strapped to it, but give it give it honest to god defenses. Oh, it looks like the Gorn took over. That's uh, that's not a positive thing. Oh, this is gonna go well. I can already tell. Oh no, we got it. We got a named guy. Oh heck no, heck no. Dun 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 dun. dun. That's right. Don't mess with me. By the way, thanks for helping out, guys. Thanks for, you know, doing stuff instead of just sitting there being scared. Speak with the lead Thank scientist. You. Things were looking pretty grim there for a moment. The Gorn. They kept saying the deaths of their people would be avenged, but we didn't do anything. I haven't fired a phaser since the Academy. So, um... 14 Kalium, what's the one ship that survived Wolf 359? Couldn't find it. I couldn't find it either. I don't think they ever really named what the ship was. There's a couple of um, theories behind that. And it wasn't the Oberth. We know the Oberth was destroyed. But um, there's a game out. It's not canon, but I really like it. It's called... Uh, it involves Q, and I forget what it's called, but, and I played it. I actually beat it. It was a really fun game. I remember I was doing it as a teenager. I think it's called Star Trek Borg or something like that. And uh, you get to Q, basically, um, you go through with Q, and he uh, takes you to the ship where your father died, and that ship actually escapes because Q's helping you and you're doing all these machinations. And uh, it's called Star Trek Borg, that's right. And ultimately, uh, they kind of make it out like that was the ship to get out. And the reason the ship got out is because Q was playing a game with you. Uh, it's a really fun game. You can't get it... Uh, you can't really get it to play on computer anymore, but if you go into YouTube and you look for it, you can actually play the game on YouTube because they have the little... They still have the things you can uh, click on. Um, it was a really fun game. Uh, I, I can see why it wouldn't be canon. It breaks a couple of things, but it was it was really fun, and Q just does excellent. Uh, Delancey. Fly to the Xinhi. Yeah, the YouTube playthrough is the only real way to play it now. Real fun game. I'd suggest you guys go find it and play it. Yeah, it was a live action movie. So let me say this. Um, they don't do it anymore, and I kind of understand why, because you can do stuff a lot better. Oh my word, did I love the live action games, though. The live action games were where it was at, in my opinion. Uh, just absolutely positively wonderful yeah I do look so small so small how do I join your fleet if you have one I do have one I haven't done a lot with it unfortunately because I, I I'm busy almost every day um, and it's really hard for me to run one. So I'm looking at possibly having it join another fleet or merge. Or if somebody wants to take the reins. I wish that I could do something cool and fun with, uh, with a fleet like that. But there's just not enough time. Uh, it's in the Prime Universe. And it's called the Guardians of the Lore. Guardians spelled incorrectly. Oh crap. I don't have my people set up. That's not good. Ow. You would think this thing would have more guns than this. Die! Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. It was never stated how long before the Voyager quarters became standard that they were on ships of new class. Maybe late 2367. Baby got back. 
We didn't start the fire. No, we didn't light it, but we tried to find it. We didn't walk the fire. No, we didn't light it. I can help you in that area, Lore Reloaded. Ran one myself. Well, that's cool, Michael. Shoot me a message at sto at lorereloaded.com. sto at lorereloaded.com. And um, we can talk about it. Because there were 17 Oberths in Seoul at the time of the Battle of Sector 001. Apparently Admiral Saval is very, very passionate about this. The Oberths were actually being used as evac ships during the Battle of Sector 001. Well, that's interesting, there's no evidence of that, uh, unfortunately. And we see the Oberth was in battle during the first uh, episode of Deep Space Nine. Where the hell is that ship? Yeah, how are the repairs going? Our warp drive is still disabled, but we're making progress. Where the hell is it? Where the hell did the ship go? Alright, let's do this. Thanks. I hate to ask, but something's bothering me. We picked up strange energy readings before the attack. Thanks. Sending it now. Saluting the Gorn. Investigate debris. Oh, this is going to be good. Which, uh, if you didn't start the fire, why are you holding the matches? <laughs> I get the joke. Uh, which would mean that the ambassador class in Star Trek Borg was using sets and corridors that were already in usage at the failed battle of Wolf 359. I assume something went with that. All right, here we go. By the way, after this mission, I'm probably going to head out, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be doing a post-show. Be here, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Post-show of the USS Discover of uh, the Discovery episode. It may even be earlier. Maybe 8.30 if we can get it uh, quicker. Um, also, not, um, Monday, we'll be looking at the Defiant. Can you tell who did it? Let's do it. Let's go find it. And the tailor button you were looking for was called uniform. You can get different uniforms because it didn't look like it. Wow. That looks painful. Chekhov is a Russian agent. Oh, this is going to go well. I can already tell. Oh, of course. Ow. Yeah, I need to set my bridge stations. You're right. For in the game email, same as Lore Reloaded, is in your name at Lore Reloaded. Or you can send an email to me like a real email, sto at lorereloaded.com. An actual real email like we do in the real world. I don't know that I can do this while we're in combat. Yeah, I can't while we're in combat. Run away! Ow! It burns! It burns! 
Sorry, guys. I'm trying to fight and read your comments. Sorry I'm not being as entertaining as I could be. Watch me have to board this sucker. Hail the Gorn ship. Why am I a courier for everybody in space? I mean, seriously, dude, go do your own research. It's your ship. Do people send you things using in-game mail all the time, Josh King? All the time. Watch it be a Dadera Dex. Oh, it's not one ship, it's three. Fantastic. You're quite the clever one, Captain. Too clever, I'm afraid. No one can know of our actions here today. Wow, even they got a few. Are, 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 did males just go extinct in this uh, thing, or are they like rare? Well, that cruiser's dead. Oh, dang it. Can't set it. Con Cruiser! Have you seen SF Debris video on Knights of the Old Republic? I believe I have. If you can remind me what, what it's about, no, no Stripe 361, I think I have. Wolf 3, not 5, 9, the Federation's darkest and worst history. Uh, yeah, I think um, Dominion gets really close, but it was definitely a very bad time for him. Fire everything. You have no crew. No, I don't have no crew. I'm glad how I just rammed him and nothing happened. And good luck to that Gorn ship. It's getting the hell beat out of it right now. Godspeed, Gorn ship. How's this ship still alive? Turn around! Do it! Hey man, what's going on, Johnny Doe? These fights were slow enough without crew. It's slower, like, come on. Yeah, it can be a little slow. Especially since I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. How do I assign someone to rail? There we go. Alright. Now we should be ready. Let's do it. Oh wow, the Gorn actually destroyed one. That's crazy. Boom! Mother! Captain Janeway, why aren't you playing with an Oberth class? The thing is a beast. I need to get one. I should just do it and just play with an Oberth and that's it. At Lore Reloaded, he's playing Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. He made fun of how your character has to do everything despite the fact does it. Yeah. In Star Wars The Old Republic, you're a courier as well. We have all been there, and learning is just good time. To, you'll get good at building, and that suits your play style. I'm just a filthy casual. I just play it to play it. I don't necessarily go out of my way to completely learn. I need to. If I'm going to do this a lot more and have you guys on, usually I have people on playing with me, as you know, if you're a regular watching this. But I just want to do the tutorial. You guys keep asking me to do stuff other than the regular prime timeline. 
So, um, or 25th century. So I had to get past all this. Boom! Shaka laka laka. Yeah, yes. Well fought, Federation. The hegemony will remember the Romulan treachery today. So there was another player on the field. There was another player. We'll be heading for the closest starbase soon. But we'll be back to finish our work here, along with the Gorn, I'll wager. Yeah, thanks for helping out, by the way. Take us out, Warp 3. The fastest warp there is. Most missions can be turned in remotely. Click the icon next to the mission to report to Good the to contact hear from and turn it in remotely. Boom. Lore, go to Taylor. I'm not going to Taylor. All right, guys, I am going to end it here. I think um, I hope that you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And, uh, of course, we'll be doing something similar to this tomorrow. I will be live at 8.30 to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time doing the post show. So don't forget to take a look at that. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next.